Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. In this video, we'll be creating an EC2 instance and assign an IAM role to that. Using that role, we'll be creating the buckets. So let's go ahead and look into the video. So this, uh, this is the result of that. So you have to connect to that EC2 instance and then you can create it. So how we can do that. So if you remember the previous video, when we are trying to access this, we were getting error. So since in this video, we are giving IAM access to this EC2 instance, we were able to create a bucket and other options are related to that uh, bucket creation. So this is what uh, uh, we are going to do. Initially, we're going to create uh, an IAM role and we're going to assign it to EC2 instance. So whenever you are creating an EC2 instance, you remember we also have the keys. So in this case, the keys key one dot uh, PM. So that is what we have created. So we'll be uh, looking into that uh, in just a few minutes. And uh, since we have this IAM role, we'll be having access to this S3, right? So in this command line, using this uh, username and the public IP, we can connect to this EC2 instance and create a bucket. In this case, we have created MRT1 bucket. So we'll be looking into that, like how we can create it. So saying that, let's jump into the video and uh, we'll be creating an EC2 instance and assigning the role to that. So let me show you how that is done. So this is the one that has been created using uh, CLI. So let me go to uh, compute EC2 and let's create uh, an EC2 instance. So it's just a few steps that we have to do. So click launch instance and uh, add the name. Server and you can uh, add the uh, AMIs based on your interest. So you can just search for it and add it. So I'm just leaving it as default. So coming to the key pair, you can select key one. So which is the one like we have used in the previous video. So you can add this key one and uh, for the security groups, you can create one or you can select the existing one. So in this case, I have this existing one. So you can select this one. And if you go down, so you can see here, so here you can add the IAM instance. So you can select this AC2 S3 admin that we have created. So initially, obviously, like you do, will be not having that. So create a new IAM role. So these are the roles that we have as of now. So let's create an IAM role here. Create role, select EC2. So allow EC2 instance to call the AWS service on your behalf. So click that and go next. So here you have to give the permissions. So since we need the uh, S3, so you can just search for uh, S3 and add the relevant permissions that you want. So in this case, you can give uh, full access. So this is the what I have given. So you can give full access and go to the next. So if you want to add other service, you can add, you can just search it and you can just add it. So go to the next and here you have to give the name. So you can uh, give it as like uh, S3 admin one or something like that. And uh, can add the tags if you want and just create the role. So that is how, how I have created the role. So once you create it, it will be visible from here. So you can see we were able to add from here, right? So let's say you have forgot to add and you have launched the instance. So let me launch it. So MRT server, it has been launched and, but uh, if you remember, I have not added any uh, IAM roles to that. So let me refresh that. If you click here, you'll be having, you see, we don't have any IAM role, but whereas if you select the sample one, you see you have uh, EC2 S3 admin. So for that, you can click here click uh, actions, security and modify IAM role. So you can click here and you can add the EC2 admin and update the role. So that is how you can add here. So you can just update it. And if you select here, you see it has been added. IAM role has been added to that. So that is how you can create uh, our role and you can add to your EC2 instance. So once you are done with it, then you can go to your uh, command prompt. So here I'm using the Linux machine. So this is the command that you have to use. So as such and key one dot them. So since it is under my desktop, 
I don't require to add any other uh, folders. So for example, let's say, uh, so for example, let's say uh, it's in the downloads folder. So initially you see we are in the home. We don't have that, right? So if you see here, it's in the downloads. So for example, let's say you are using the same command. So instead of this one, you have to add the location where the file is. So since my file is under the desktop, you can add desktop. So similarly, you can add this location to that uh, key1.pem. Since I'm already in my desktop, I don't require the, uh, those things. So once you are done with it, uh, you can just add it as, and inside that you can add the S3 commands. So that is how you can uh, do the permissions. So if I go back here to S3 bucket, storage S3 and uh, so this is the bucket that we have created. Let's try to add one more bucket, right? So in this case, uh, I'll just add as a bucket, uh, bucket one using CLI, just enter. So it has been created. So you just need to refresh it. So let me refresh that. There you go. Our bucket has been created. Similarly, you can add objects to that as well and delete the buckets. Let's see how to delete those buckets. So I've created a bucket and uh, for deletion s3 dot rp and the bucket name. So s3, let's wait, I'll just change the command here. So instead of mb, I can just add it as uh, rb, enter. There you go, the bucket has been removed. Similarly, I'll be doing with the other one, which is uh, mrt bucket and RB. There you go, the bucket has been deleted. Just go ahead and refresh. You see, we don't have any buckets now. So that is how you can do uh, these commands. So let me show you these commands. So these are the few commands that you can uh, work on. So I'll be adding this in the description and uh, I'll be also adding a post in my Instagram channel related to uh, these commands. So to follow my Instagram channel, I'll be keeping that in the description for your reference. And uh, coming to this video, I hope you guys finished the concept of today's video. If you have liked the video, please click the like button below. And if you don't subscribe to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video. Thanks everyone.